you global Christian friends in America have met be partakers of the Lord's table and come and die. We're going to continue on in these mystics and uh, so that you may know God's people need to know what's around them and what's out there in the world and what's centered around the heavens that those who are non-Christians are involved in. We're not going to get into uh, their practices, though we know every single one of them by name and their works. We're not going to get into those kind of things because uh, they are not Christian-like. They are not what God himself has ordained for his children and his people. Now, uh, we're going to continue uh, with the next paragraph after uh, the prayer being gathered with good ones and being brought before God. Now, but if a person remains stubborn, then his prayers remain mere habit. His main thought is to finish as quickly as possible. Sehadiel, the angel here, then ascends and recites all the person's sins before God, causing him great harm. To remedy this, one should pray out of a siddur, S-I-D-D-U-R, which is the prayer book. If a person say the service by heart, it is very easy for his mind to stray to other matters, even though his lips continue to say the words, he pays no attention to them, thinking about everything in the world. Sometimes even lascivious thoughts might enter his mind in the middle of the service. But if he prays out of a siddur, S-I-D-D-U-R, the prayer book, never lifting his eyes, then it is assured that he will not have extraneous thoughts when he makes every possible effort to pray with feeling God will certainly have mercy on him and deliver him from the evil urge it is said that the great rabbi Kabbalist K-A-B-B-A-L-I-S-T uh, Rabbi Yishchak Luria, uh, who is known as uh, Ari, he also was called the Lion during the 15th century, during his time. He would say all his prayers out of a book, even the grace after meal, which every child knows, he would say them by heart. I just want to stop here for a brief moment. I'm not going to get over into that art, uh, the Kabbalist art, Kabbalistic art, you out there know very well what it's all about. I'm not going to entertain it. You should not entertain it, though there are a lot of Christian parents out there, past pastors out there, that do entertain uh, the study of the Kabbalah. All right? And we could uh, uh, talk about it for the next uh, 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 week or so and uh, name all the masters that are there and their works. But that's not what we hear about. 
we hear about the Savior of the world, the Lord Jesus Christ. But he is making sure that you know what's out there in the world by these things that are taking place. Now, let's continue. Another remedy is to stand facing a wall when praying. This prevents disturbing thoughts since the mind has nothing to concentrate on other than the words of one's prayer. There are some people who cannot read clearly or who pray rapidly without feeling but who wish to lead the service. Such a person is like someone who knows nothing about sailing but wishes to be captain of the ship. His only accomplishment is endangering many people of great sin. If a person engaged in unnecessary conversation in synagogue, he should atone by fasting 40 days. This is because he has dishonored the Torah, law, the T-O-R-A-H, which was given in 40 days. Above the main gate of this chamber, and we're still in chamber one at this point in time, uh, above the main gate of this chamber is open, uh, is another gate which is open three times each day to accept those people who repent. Also, allowed to enter are those who weep when they pray. Even when all other gates are closed, this one remains open. If a person prays with tears, with his heart and soul, begging God to forgive his sins, it is guaranteed that his prayers will be accepted and his tears will leave a mark on that gate. There is another kind of tear, even more precious. These are the tears a person shed by the death of a sage or saint, or for the destruction of the holy temple, Beth Hamikdash. B E T H Beth H A H M I K D A S H Holy Temple. Such tears never dry up. They are recorded for all times before the angels which oversee this chamber. Now, the second chamber is called the essence of heaven. That is E T Z E M H A S H A M A Y I M Et Zaha Shamayim. All right. We will uh, begin at the second gate, uh, the second chamber, the next time. God bless you, global Christian friends, pastors, and uh, the American people out there across the globe.